this is a problem about an elevator that sits down here sort of at the bottom floor and it has a 200 meter path to travel all the way up to the top. Some of the parameters that we're given is that the elevator can reach a maximum speed of 5 meters per second and when it's speeding up it has an acceleration of 1 meter per second squared and when it's slowing down it has a deceleration of 1 meter per second squared. So the acceleration on it is either plus or minus 1 meter per second depending on what's happening. So in this particular problem the first part asks for then how far does the elevator travel when it's between the times when it's starting at rest and reaches its maximum speed. So how much distance does it require to accelerate from 0 meter per second to 5 meter per second? Now that can be found by using the uh, one of the equations that we have, in particular that v squared is v naught squared plus 2a times delta y. Now there's a lot of variations of this equation here, but we'll put the delta y in there because we're sort of referring to vertical motion now. We can even dress these up a bit more and put some v0 y's and, um, and then the delta y over there. So this equation will sort of tell us how much distance the elevator requires to make it that 5 meters per second. In particular, the final speed that we're after here is the 5 and it's squared, so there's the 5 squared. The elevator starts at rest, so that'll be a 0 in there, and then we'll have the plus 2, and the a is always going to be 1 in this case here, then we'll have a delta y. So if I go ahead and work this thing here, I can solve for delta y to get 12.5 meters. So the elevator will require 12.5 meters to go from 0 to 1 meter per second. Now we actually learned quite a bit about the problem just through that one number because I can sort of return to the original figure over here and we can look at it this way. It starts at rest here and I'll sort of draw this line right here. It's going all the way across and saying this represents 12.5 meters here. So the elevator requires this first 12.5 meters to reach its maximum speed. And if you just apply a little bit of logic to that, you may correctly conclude that as it decelerates from the same maximum speed to zero again, sort of like this, this particular portion of its motion, but just in reverse, it will also require 12.5 meters in order to come to rest. So this will be 12.5 meters in here. So we sort of have these two sections of the motion. Here is where it's going from zero to five meters per second. Here is where it's going from 5 meters per second to 0, but because it always has the same acceleration, whether it's speeding up or slowing down, they'll both equal 12.5 meters. Then, of course, it's a 200 meter total span, so the intervening section where it doesn't have an acceleration, neither speeding up or slowing down, is going to be something like the 200 meters minus 25, minus the 12.5 and the 12.5, so it'll be like 175 meters in here, at which it's sort of it's just cruising up without changing its speed at all. So just by this one number, as I said here, we can learn a lot about the problem in there. So the next part of the problem asks then, well, how long does the elevator take then to make a, a trip up to the top? What is the total travel time up to the top? And so what we have then is that I'll just sort of resketch what the information we know. We sort of have three sections then that are going to look like this. I can just barely squeeze them on there. We have 12.5 meters here, where A is 1 meter per second squared. And we have 12.5 meters up here, where A is minus 1 meter per second squared. Then we have 175 meters in the intervening spot, inter, intervening spot there where A is equal to zero. Okay? So we can find the times by applying what I think is equation two for us right here. In particular, this case right here, we can say, okay, well, V is equal to V0 plus A times delta T. We can sort of apply that equation in this particular case here. And what do we know? Well, we know it's going to reach 5 meters per second, started at rest, has an acceleration of 1 meter per second here, and it has the delta T of... Well, that's what we're looking for. So if I solve this equation here, I'll get a delta T of 5 seconds. So what does this 5 second means mean? This is how long it takes the elevator in time to go from V is equal to 0 to 5 meters per second. So there's a bunch of information here. We know how long it takes, 5 seconds, but we also know the distance it'll travel, 12.5. So we have that. And you may also include here, well, before I do, let me just categorize this here. This particular portion of its journey will take 5 seconds. And again, sort of by symmetry or by similar arguments here, this deceleration to rest here will also take 5 seconds. So you can get the 5 seconds and the 5 seconds in there. So it's going to take 10 seconds to speed up and slow down. Last piece of the puzzle here is how long is it going to take to do this 175 here? Well, you can sort of find that by using, I think, uh, equation 1 in this case here. In particular, we know that the, the object, the elevator, is going to do something like this. It's still going to start at rest again down here. Or excuse me, start at y is equal to 0 down here. That's where it's going to start. And this is y is equal to 12.5 right here. And this position up here is going to be y is equal to 187.5. So 
that's 12.5 plus 175, 187.5. So what we'd really want to do is set up the equation one to say, okay, how long does it take to go from 12.5 to 187.5 given that there's no acceleration and it entered this region with the speed of 5 meters per second? Because when the elevator reaches this section right here, it's humming along at the 5 meters per second because remember that's what this first section was about, the elevator obtaining that speed there. So what we do then is sort of head over here and go, okay, well, in this particular case here, we want to know when the elevator is going to reach the 187.5. Given that it started at 12.5, the initial velocity it has is the 5 meters per second, so we'll put the plus 5 times delta t, and it has no acceleration. So normally there's a 1 half a delta t squared term here, but it has no acceleration in this midsection, so a is 0, this whole term just drops out. And by the way, if you're having trouble following along, I am running out of a bit of space here, but this construct right here that I've sort of drawn over here is just me filling in y is equal to y0 plus v0 delta t plus 1 half a delta t squared. It's just me filling that in. So if I look at what I had here, I'm just sort of running out of room, so I'll just finish the problem up over here. What I basically ended up with here was a 187.5 is equal to 12.5 plus 5 times delta t. And I believe you can solve this for delta t here and the answer will come out to be something like 35 seconds. So we have a complete picture of the elevator's motion now. It takes 5 seconds to do this, 35 seconds to do this, and another 5 to do this. So of course the total travel time up to the top will be 45 seconds.